Oh, why hello, and welcome back to Bravo Bricks. Over the past few weeks, I got married, and more importantly, my grandma got me a ton of Lego at a yard sale. So she spent about $120 on a few tubs worth of Lego sets, which are bagged up, and I've briefly looked through a few of them, but nothing too in detail. So today, we're gonna be going through all that yard sale Lego and hoping we find some goodies. Now, of course, with me, I am not really a part of the whole investment thing. I'm more about enjoying what I'm building. Now, that's not to say that I don't have sets that eventually I'm going to sell, but for this, because it's from my grandma, I would say most of it I'm definitely gonna keep for me. So let's check it out, see what kind of goodies we can find. That's what we got. We've got about a suitcase worth plus a tub of Lego. Now these are, for the most part, assembled sets, and I am thrilled to get into it, see what we can find. You may hear a cat come over and try and eat the bags because for whatever reason, the cat we have is sexually attracted to the sound, feel, and taste of these kind of bags. So let's just start off, see what we got. Okay, first up is a Star Wars set. Da -da -da. Oh, we got a clone. All right, I'm not gonna pretend like I know the names to these sets, the original sets, um, like Duck Bricks. Duck Bricks, who knows the name and set number of every Lego thing that's ever existed. Uh, first off, these clones are fake, uh, which is not a huge deal if you're just trying to play with them, but if you are looking to resell. The way you can tell that figures are fake and there's a few different ways. Number one is right off the bat, it feels stiff and thin. Okay, let stiff and thin like my dead uncle. So when you are moving the stuff around, the arms and legs are not super keen to move. Uh, another way you can tell it's fake is there's no Lego logo on any of the individual pieces. So either the Lego logo is gonna be on the inside of the legs or if it's from the 2010-ish era, it's gonna be written across the legs right here. Um, so it's fake, not a huge deal. I am planning on giving about half of the Star Wars stuff in this lot to my brother because when my grandma gave it to me, um, she said, this is yours, Merry Christmas. But I know that my brother likes Lego too, so I divided it in half, or I thought I divided it in half he looked at his lot and thought he doesn't have enough Star Wars in his, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him uh, some of this Star Wars stuff. Now, the Lego set itself is real. All the set pieces have, yeah, they've all got the Lego logo. So this is a real spider droid looking thing. Let's see if I can kind of raise it up a little bit. Um, looks like all the pieces are here. It's just a little bit disassembled. Actually, you know what? This looks like a really easy fix, so I might as well just fix it. One moment. All right, so that goes in here. That goes up here. That's nifty. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know if it's missing anything or anything like that, so bada bing, bada boom. That's a, that's a Star Wars set if I've ever seen one. All right, as far as where I'm gonna put the stuff while I do this, I have no idea. I'm just gonna kinda throw it around the apartment and that's that. All right, number two. Okay, another Star Wars set. This one I am probably gonna keep for myself because he has got the gift with purchase droid mover thing that came out this past May 4th and I do not have that. Uh, I do like the look of this too. Let's see if it's real. And again, I really don't care if it's real or fake. Um, however, if I'm gonna sell Lego, I'm never gonna advertise that it is real, especially if it's fake. All right, this is missing a few pieces. <clears throat> I have no idea what era this is from. I know that this is either from the prequel movies or the Clone Wars. As far as functionality for the set, no idea. Stuff looks like it moves here and there. 
Maybe this is a smaller part of like a bigger set. It's got wheels on the bottom. Yeah, it's got wheels just like my grandma who was in a wheelchair, you know, just kind of rolling along. How you doing? Okay, that's cool. It looks like there's some sort of attachment missing, perhaps. Comes with quite a bit of droids. And now with droids, the way you can tell they're real, on the head, it'll be, there'll be the Lego logo written on the neck, um, on the arms, and on the legs, it is typically written on the booty cheeks. I doubt you can see it, but the Lego logo, I promise you, is there. So, those are real, very cool. Um, you know what, let's keep it moving. But we also got Jar Jar Binks. So if you're a big Jar Jar fan, bada bing bada boom, Bob's your uncle, there you go. All right, next. And in this lot, I should preface, I, I've already looked through it a little bit. There's Star Wars, there's some medieval, there's architecture, there's city. Um, I think there's Ninjago, some Chima stuff, uh, all over the place. But like I said before, I've never looked into this in super detail. I'm unpacking from the honeymoon. This is my unpacking. All right, this is an elephant dude. I, I'm not gonna know his name. I'm not gonna pretend like I know his name. This is an elephant dude from a Lego Chima set. Now, maybe this is blasphemous, but I love this headpiece. Don't love the rest of them. I don't know what I would do with this. Maybe like an Indiana Jones mock or something like that, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep him all together or maybe part him out. I don't know. Very neat. Very neat. All right, the rest of this bag is Iron Man. This is the Armory Hall that originally retailed for $50. It is, it looks like it's all here. I got a few of this set when it was on sale on Amazon for like 20 or 30 bucks. So I bought like three of them to eventually trade in for more Lego. Iron Man. It's like uh, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Iron Man. All right, this is the one I was most looking forward to because I, even though I bought a few of this set, I've never opened them. But how cool is this figure? The Iron Man Mark I from Iron Man 1, of course. That is, oh, and he's got a clear head. Super, super cool. Um, Really happy about that. This is not one that I'm going to sell. This is one I'm going to probably assemble, put together, and shove it on a shelf somewhere. We've got another Jar Jar Binks. Why another Jar Jar Binks is with the Iron Man haul is beyond me. Real Lego, real Lego, we love to see it. Another thing I'm gonna be checking with the figures is whether or not that they are cracked. So. Either there will be cracking on the underside of the arms, uh, there could it could be on the back side. Most often though, the cracks will appear right here uh, along the side of the torso, but this doesn't look like it has any cracks, so I'm happy about that. Some more Iron Man figures. We got this blue guy. I don't remember him his name, so please don't come at me. Um, I'm assuming this was a Tony Stank before they took his head away. You should have gone for the head. All right, another Iron Man suit. Iron Man. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of this back in the bag, except Jar Jar Binks, because Jar Jar Binks is not an Iron Man suit. Um, I'm not gonna be doing anything with this right now. See, look, like this whole bag, this Iron Man set, they were selling at the yard sale for three dollars. Like that's just how how good of a, a steal my grandma got. So yeah, if you've got a grandma that's still alive and you're lucky if you do because grandmas are amazing, then you ought to tell her if you go to yard sales, keep an eye out for Lego because that's exactly what I did. I told her if you go to yard sales, can you keep your eye out for Lego because I'm a collector of course and I like sets and you never know what you're going to find at yard sales. So, that's what she did, and she spent about $60 on what's physically here. The other half of the lot is at my brother's place. All right, let's dig in. We got a 
partial walker from, I believe, a 501st set of some kind. Maybe just Clone Wars, I'm not sure. This looks like the rest of it, maybe. Uh ho ho! We got Anakin Skywalker's shuttle ship that's missing a rocket. Are you willing to bet it's in here? Yes, it is. Hello, how are you? Get that put together. Oh, that's cool. Okay, R2D2 tier. I am not seeing Anakin Skywalker, probably because he's too busy killing younglings, but it is what it is. I mean, it looks complete to me. Of course, I'll look at these individually and figure out whether or not they are missing anything. Looks like maybe there's something small missing back here. I have no idea what, though. Um, that's super cool. Oh, baby. This is either, and don't kill me for not knowing, either the Phantom 1 or Phantom 2 from Star Wars Rebels. I was a little bit late to the Star Wars Rebels show. I didn't finish it until right before Ahsoka came out. This is really cool. I don't have a figure of him. Awesome. No cracks. Oh, never mind. Right here. Look at that. Huh? See that? That's a butt crack. <laughs> um, I'm happy to get this. I don't know. I know that the set is probably worth a little bit of money, but I'd rather have the set than sell it. Now, it looks maybe like it opens. How it opens, I don't know. Okay, please don't break. Yes. Oh, chopper. The absolute best droid in Star Wars, in my opinion. I love R2-D2 and C-3PO, but for pure likability, I'm going Chopper every time. That dude commits so many war crimes. That's awesome. All right, shove Chopper back in there. Again, I, I'm not going to talk about like sheer value here because that's not my shtick. I don't really care about values of sets when it comes to stuff like this. Even though my grandma paid 60 bucks for the whole thing, um, I am just kind of happy to have Lego. So, there's a blue, no, sorry, not blue. Do I know my colors? Come on, Bravo Bricks. Yes, this is brown. I don't know if it's the brittle brown. We can see, I do not see the Lego logo on the arms. Oh, it's on the torso. Maybe my eyes just aren't good enough, but I'm not seeing Lego logo. Yep, there it is. Okay. So it looks like this is legit. Not seeing it on the feet, though. I'm like, afraid to take it apart because brittle brown breaks, but I don't know the name of this fella. I'm not going to pretend like I know his name. Um, maybe he goes with this blue thing. We've got a clone trooper of some kind. Looks like 501st. Oh, it's got the Clone Wars head. Those truly awful heads from Star Wars Clone Wars. I think they're ugly and hideous, but I know that they probably fetch a pretty penny because uh, Clone Wars has done nothing but gain popularity since going off the air. For me, the highlight of this bag was this set right here because I really enjoyed Star Wars Rebels. Um, maybe an unpopular opinion, but I liked Rebels more than I liked Clone Wars. And probably going to get some, some smack for that, but I don't care. I think overall, Rebels had more banger episodes and Clone Wars had a bit too many filler episodes for my liking. Alright, that's going back in the bag. We got a Menard bag. All right, more Star Wars. All right, Star Wars droid. Looks like this person paid $4 for this figure. So with the way that this yard sale came about is there was like an 18, 19 year old kid that was selling all this Lego. And my grandma under strict orders for me 
was told to purchase Lego on site. And the guy, the 18 year old, 19 year old kid was like, I've got, I've got more inside if you want that too. And she's like, absolutely. And um, the poor kid is going through his dark ages where he gives up Lego thinking either I'm never gonna get a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever with this, therefore I must give it away. It's not cool to like it. He'll come back. They always do. All right. As far as this being real, nope, it's fake. Fake, fake, fake. But if you're building like an army and you're not gonna be picking this stuff up, moving it all the time, and you're just gonna kinda set it on display, who cares if there's fakes in there? I don't care. If it makes it look cool, I mean, go for it. I mean, if you were to buy, so this is advertised as $4, and I have no idea what the, the modern price of this figure is, if it were real. Um, if you were to buy that to army build, I mean, you're gonna go bankrupt in an hour. All right, we've got a Pew Pewer. I'm saying it's a Pew Pewer because I don't know the official name of it. I've got this kind of set in blue, the one that came with Ahsoka. Uh, it's got a droid inside of it, that's kind of fun. So I'm probably gonna give this one to my brother. Comes with another droid up there. I mean, to my eyes, this looks complete. Maybe there's supposed to be something there, but I don't know. To me, that looks pretty complete. All right. This is Pokemon of some kind. Garbage. Absolute garbage. All right. Luke's land speeder. How does it attach? Oh, this is the one that goes in the back. This is the one from 2017, 2016 maybe. They've made so many of them. All right, the rest of this is figures, so let's just dump them out. Droid arm. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Mystique from the X-Men, although it feels fake. Uh, because it is. Bummer. But, oh well. I like X-Men. I like Mystique. I think every 12-year-old boy liked Mystique. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, neat. I don't have anything X-Men. I've got like a Marvel setup on my shelf, but not exclusively X-Men. Whatever this was, this looks like a Darth Vader with his head chopped off. What is going on here? A bunch of like odds and ends pieces that I'm not going to do a whole lot with likely. I need like readers or something. I can't see if the Lego logo's on this stuff. I don't know if that's supposed to be paint or it's dirt. If you know what this is or what it goes to, let me know in the comments. Uh, okay, so let's put that over there, that over there. Some shooters, all right, we got some, some sand people. C-3PO probably came with the land speeder right here. Uh, we got Luke Skywalker, which probably came with the land speeder as well. Another droid fella, attack battle droid. Sorry, I don't know the official names. That's not my style. All right, we got another one of these. Just attach it real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, we've got. A yellow Luke Skywalker. That's not racist. He's literally yellow. It's real. Yep, that's real. I have no idea what he came with as far as set-wise. Uh, the printing on the torso and legs is modern. But it's yellow. I have no idea. 
but cool regardless. Some other droids, bits and bobs. Um, nothing too crazy. Very neat. Okay, moving on. Next bag. All right, let's figure this out. Ooh, okay. This one I am excited for. I'm a total fake fan because I have no idea what it comes from. This set, this ship I should say, looks really cool. I think there's a figure. That's cool. And yeah, there's some sort of gray imperial figure in there. No idea if that's what it comes with, but I like this set. I don't know if it opens up any more than this or it's just a figure trapped in there forever. But I love the look of this ship. All right, next we've got, this I believe is the pit. I feel in the pit from Phantom Menace. So we got these red uh, lasers. Yep, here's Darth Maul. If I could get him untangled. Darth Maul. He's got, for some reason, a black lightsaber and the double red saber. Uh, Poe Dameron. So maybe Poe Dameron comes with this set here. BB-8, which I do not have. Now I do. That's awesome. Some little X-Wing builds, either from a poly bag or... Maybe it's not X-Wing, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This looks important, no idea what it's to. Um, Darth Maul's brother, who's yellow, Darth Paul. I'm just kidding, I don't know his name. That's fake. It feels kind of like it's falling apart in my hands, actually. The legs are real. I think that's the only thing real on this, though. Maybe. I need to get like a magnifying glass for future unveilings like this. We got long hair Jedi. Just kidding, it's Qui Gon Jinn. Uh, the rest in this is just kind of pieces and bobs. You know who this guy is. All right. That is quite neat. I'm gonna put this together since the Phantom Menace set kind of looks like it's falling apart. Okay, I think this video is gonna have to be a few parts because I'm not even done with the bags outside of the tub, let alone what's inside the tub. But that's okay. Oh, yes, this is the one I was most excited for. All right. This is a medieval set that I wanted, and it came out right before I went into my dark ages, where I thought, girls will not talk to me if I have Lego in my bedroom, so I better get rid of it all. And I, I didn't get rid of it, per se, I didn't sell anything. I just took it to my grandma's and she stored it for me, and I'm so glad she kept all of it. But. I'm really into the medieval stuff right now. Medieval and pirates and just nostalgia builds. And this is a great looking dragon. Legs are clicking. Looks like it's missing a tail element, which I thought I saw. <gasps> but before we talk about the tail, if this is real, this is worth like $200. Mother trucker, that hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. That's fake. You're teasing me. It's a fake Thrawn. You know what? I'm not even upset. It's okay. Because if I had Thrawn, I'd probably keep him and not sell him anyways. All right, let's look for that dragon tail. Dragon tail, dragon tail. Did you watch Dragon Tales when you were a kid? Or an adult? Uh, da -da -da. Here it is. Okay. Hey, that's a cool little night piece. All right. Dragon tail goes on here. 
There we go. Now that's a dragon. I missed out on the Desolation of Smog set. It technically came out with Battle of Five Armies, but uh, it was a set that was designed based on the Desolation of Smog that came with Smog in uh, Erebor. So maybe this will be my Smog. Or maybe this will be part of a medieval display. Um, regardless, thrilled to have a dragon. That's really cool. All right, we got some cool medieval style figures. This is a partial queen of some kind. She's kind of bad though. Um, we've got this dark wizard. Uh, I don't know the storyline for this specific castle kingdoms whatever set. Um, but that wizard kind of looks like he would command the dragon. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. You know, let me just dump this out. Because I feel like I'm probably annoying you with all the sound or hinting at what's inside the bags. Let me just dump it out. Do -do -do. Sorry if you're a headphones user. I'm sure this is like absolutely destroying you. All right, to me this looks like just one set, one big set that's kind of fallen apart, destroyed over the years. That's perfectly fine. All right, last piece. Yep, that's it, okay. As far as what's in front of me, I know that I know what the set box art looks like. This is Star Wars. Uh, I know what the box art looks like, though I do not remember the name of it. However, it looks like most of the important players are here. All right, so we've got night figure of some kind. We've got the dark wizard, a dragon shield of some kind. That's really cool. We've got another blue fella. Blue. Um, I think I saw his visor. Here it is. There we go. Here we go. How cool is that? All right. I think that that's going to cut it for me today. This is going to be a decently large haul, so it, it, it'll either be divided up into like three or four separate videos. But let me know if this is the kind of thing that you're interested in seeing. It's pretty easy for me to make. I just kind of flip open record and bada bing bada boom. But I am so happy to get these kind of sets. I'm happy to give my brother some of the Star Wars ones to kind of even out what he's got versus what I got. Um, this is exciting. I love this kind of stuff, like sifting through like lots. Um, this is awesome. So let me know if you know if you know anything at all about stuff that I opened, like official names of sets for things like this, or um, if I picked up something that's super fragile and like, for example, like this brown here. I'm not going to put pressure on it because I don't know if this is brittle brown or just brown. Um, but if you know something about the sets I don't, please chime in in the comments. I'd love to learn some more. I do respond to every single comment that comes through my videos. Why? Because I don't get that many comments. So if you want to talk to me, leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, all that other kind of goodies. Thank you so much to my supporters, my lovely, lovely, beautiful people supporters. Um, they are part of the brick party or the block party club. Uh, that's what the membership is for my club. Uh, 99 cents a month. They are amazing. You're keeping the lights on. Thank you so much. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.